Hello, welcome to episode of Flat Cap TV. I'm comedian Casey Talbot, and this is brought to you by CaseyTalbotComedy.com. Uh, we're going through the news stories that happened last week, because today's Monday, so nothing's happening this week. Um, I'm in the middle of packing, which is frustrating and terrible, and I hate it. And if we didn't have so much stuff, I think this is why I would probably end up homeless, because I hate packing. You'll notice all the packing boxes behind me. And there's so much bubble wrap in our house, I'm not allowed to pop it, which is becoming frustrating. But big stories last week here on Flat Cap TV. Of course, congratulations to Michelle Payne, the first female jockey uh, to win the Melbourne Cup. But there was some controversy, believe it or not, in the Melbourne Cup. But it had more to do with the fashion uh, on the field than it did the actual horse race itself. Jessica Malvoy was meant to sing uh, the national anthem, but apparently it got reported that she had a panic attack just before she went on. But the big news is the panic attack was brought on by the fact that uh, Melbourne, sorry, Victorian Racing had an exclusive deal with Myers, and what Jessica Malvoy was wearing uh, was an outfit from David Jones, so they wouldn't let her go on because uh, it didn't fulfil the sponsor's um, criteria. And this also happened to American actress uh, Hilary Swank, uh, was wearing a dress that wasn't exclusively stocked by Maya, so she wasn't allowed to be photoed. I'm just really excited that they weren't wearing active wear. Everyone wears active wear now, be it at the beach, at the farmer's markets, at the shopping centre, everyone wears active wear, and it's always Lorna Jane, especially here in Brisbane. You know, the ones with the weird slogos written, slogos, slogans written on it, uh, slogos, Lorna Jane, because uh, she's in trouble, uh, she's currently being sued, uh, there's a lawsuit, a $550,000 lawsuit, um, cause against one of her employees that was fat shamed uh, and harassed and bullied by a staff, apparently, um, also Lorna Jane got in trouble because they advertised for a receptionist slash fit model, uh, which included the measurements. Like, I don't know what she was doing. You can't do this anymore. You're not advertising for an airline stewardess in the 1950s. Uh, kind of get with the program, Lorna. Because this company is famous for having slogans written all over their clothes and their activewear. Some of them kind of uh, move, nourish, believe, uh, be fearless. Uh, nothing tastes as good as being fit. I think it's time for Lorna to update her slogans a little bit to fit in with the company's policy. Uh, so I think they should do the Homer Simpson one and just have no fat chicks written on it. Or one size doesn't fit all. Or pay, wash, wear, repeat would be a good one. And of course Lorna uh, should have her own shirt uh, which just says nothing tastes as good as being rich. Uh, if so, well, sue me. So uh, that happened as well. And also in pretty exciting news for our South Australian viewers and also Adelaide Fringe Festival, funny enough that you mentioned that, tip my hat off to you, so uh, goes on sale on the 27th of November. So look out for it in case of emergency. But um, South Australia this week uh, was the first state in Australia to test a driverless car. To me, this is awesome because South Australia also has awesome wine. So you can go to the Adelaide Hills now and get a driverless car in the future to drive you around. How cool would that? If they could teach the driverless car to pull into uh, a servo on the way home, that would be awesome. And the last story is if Jessica Melboy got in trouble uh, for not wearing something from Myers, perhaps she should have wore the vagina dress. This was all over Facebook uh, the last week where a young mother, Sam, her name is, a mother of three, uh, bought a dress um, from Myers. When she got it home, her husband pointed out that it had vaginas all over it. Uh, obviously, her husband is quite the vagina connoisseur. And she didn't realize this. Then she posted it to Facebook. And everyone's going, yep, that's got vaginas all over it. So perhaps she could have worn that, singing the national anthem with like one of Lorna Jane's slogans written on it. You know, get this tested. Anyway, this is Flat Cap TV. Um, have a look at Casey's Cyber Show episode 8, which is out soon, the podcast, and check out CaseyTalbotComedy.com. See you later.